will be in this association for years, 50 something years, will they exist? We never see any any challenge. Why not that? Barely one week now. We call here say, then what call? Tinubu that I want call inaugurate person for in Lagos State. Nobody they go there. So for Lagos State, she don't me. Me no, we they go there that time. We they go to do meeting for there. But few months now, we don't hear say he want to put another person. We not go agree. Let me hold in Lagos State. Me not go call me here. I don't go go Lagos State now. Go he post person there. So now me. And I get a those states, I can win my association. If he say he wants me, make it come tell me. Bring my with me, I go say, oh yeah, they could have follow. But this one we want to do so, we're not gonna take her. We're not gonna take her from her. Because politics they come, they go. We remain inside market. Because best enough you go meet for National Day, Tinubu, make it go put person for Lagos State. You know, you know, possible. So that's why you don't see what because now about Billy, now he get us yes, for yes. yes. Now he get market. Yes. Now he be our grandfather. Now governor, any governor when he come, now he be our uh, small papa. Even Oshobole be our papa before. Lucky like Billy be our papa. Well, yes. Yegu be our papa. In case you don't understand what is happening in this video, let me explain it to you. These women are women in a do state. They are protesting because someone is trying to impose a leader on them in a do state. Someone is trying to take over their market leadership. And guess who that person is? Tinibu's daughter. There is a system in Lagos State market that is called Iyaloja, which means mother of the market. And the person in charge of this system is Bolame Tinibu's daughter. She is called the Iyaloja of Lagos State. This means that Tinibu's daughter control all the market in Lagos, all the revenue in Lagos goes through her. The same way you have MC Oluomo being in charge of the National Union of the Road Transport Workers in Lagos State, that's the same way Tinibu's daughter is in charge of all the market in Lagos State. The same way Tinibu's son is in charge of the B board in Lagos State. You need to understand that Tinubu left Lagos State as a governor in 2007. That is over 17 years. But ever since he left Lagos State as a governor, the institution of state in Lagos State is under his control. Tinubu is the sole landlord of Lagos State. Every governor that has governed Lagos State, they are being selected by Bola Tinubu. If Bola Tinubu does not approve of anyone, that person will not become the governor of Lagos State. He had a disagreement with Ambode, and that was the reason why Ambode was not re-elected for the second term. That's the reason why he said that Tinibu pocketed Lagos State. But that's by the way, we are talking about his daughter. Maybe the same way his father is doing, that's the same way the daughter is equally doing. Because I don't understand why the daughter of Bolami and Tinibu that is in charge in Lagos State is going to a Edo State to install a leader in their market and causing confusion in a Edo State. That is the reason why you saw those women protesting. And let me also draw your attention to this. During the last election of the National Association of Nigerian Students, it was reported that Tinibu's son, Sheyi Tinibu, imposed the current NAS president on the leadership. Barely a few months after Bolami Tinibu took over as the president of Nigeria, you also saw a report of MC Olomo going to Abuja to impose the leadership of the National Union of Road Transport Workers. And right now, his daughter, the Iyaloja of Lagos, is going to a Edo State to impose a leader on them. And the Edo State women are saying, Edo State no be Lagos. What is the meaning of this craziness? What is the meaning of this? This is what we call state capture. Most of you may not understand what state capture is all about. You are seeing it being unveiled in your very own eyes. Tinibu ruled Lagos State for eight years and he captured Lagos State. Everything in Lagos State is being run by Bolami and Tinibu. Bolami and Tinibu controls the resources of Lagos State. And because of that, everything about the politics of Lagos State is being controlled by the APC. 
that's the reason why you're seeing tribalism is being rift in Lagos State because if you want to challenge the status quo of APC in Lagos State, just like Badibo Rosvival said, they will take away your Yorubadness from you. You saw what they did to Badibo Rosvival when he came out to contest. They said he's not a true Yoruba person to the point that they even released the Oro Festival. Oro Festival has been politicized because of APC in Lagos State. And in your own very eyes, you are saying that Bolame Tinibu has taken over the National Assembly. Look at what is happening in the National Assembly currently. The people in the National Assembly, they are no longer loyal to Nigerians. They are not speaking for Nigerians. They are not defending the interests of Nigerians. Rather, they are defending the interests of APC and Bola Ahmed Tinibu to the point that Ali Ndume and APC stalwart criticized Bola Ahmed Tinibu policies and they suspect they wanted to suspend him. And now they strip him of his position as a chief whip of the APC. Why? Because he criticized APC and Bola Ahmed. Ever since this current ten Senate was inaugurated, have you ever seen them make any laws or any policies that favor the people? Everything they've debated on the floor of the National Assembly is how to favor Bola Ahmed Tinibu, is how to make his regime to sail smoothly, is how to make it enabling for him to go and get more loans, is how to approve budget for him to buy presidential jets. Nigerians are currently planning to protest and they've given their demands, but rather than discussing the demands of Nigerians and why they are protesting, they are gaslighting Nigerians, they are telling Nigerians not to protest against Bola Tinibu. Where they voted by Bola Tinibu, these people were voted by Nigerians, but they are not speaking for Nigerians, they are speaking for Bola Tinibu. That is to show you that Bola Tinibu has captured the National Assembly. This is what we call state capture. Let's not even talk about the judiciary that is the last soap of the common man, the judiciary that is the voice of the voiceless. But that is no longer so anymore. The judiciary is now for the highest bidder. The judiciary is now dancing to the whims and caprices of the politicians. Whatever Bola Tinibu asks of them is what they are doing for him. The Supreme Court judge is no longer even hiding it anymore. This man is openly romancing politicians. This man is openly being seen with Bola Tinibu, elogizing him, saying all manner of good things about him. This is not what it ought to be. This man was supposed to be non-partisan. And that is what Bola Tinibu is trying to do. He wants to ensure that he controls every institution in this country, controls every part of the country. Whatever the daughter is going to do in a do state is what we call testing the water. If whatever she is trying to do succeed in a do state, then they will implement it in other states. Imagine the daughter coming to the east to try to impose leaders on the east. Of course, she will do it because she has already come to the south. If it succeed in the south, it will definitely succeed in the east. And this is what you need to understand about people that are gladiators in the power realm. This is what you need to understand about someone of the character of Bola Tinibu. Bola Tinibu is a power hungry man. He is someone that wants to control everything and everyone around him. You might think it's not possible. Bola Tinibu has succeeded in taking the local government autonomy away from the state government. Now the local government is directly being influenced by the federal government. Most of you don't understand what that means. This is a willing tool to be used for rigging in 2027 general election. The governors may not be loyal to Bola Tinibu. Some of them will be loyal to their party. That means the local government, they are now being loyal to Bola Tinibu. Yeah, you might look at it that, okay, they will be getting the revenue directly from the federal government, but he will pay the pipers, dictate the tone. That is what you need to understand. How long and was the stress involved in Bola Tinibu granting autonomy to the LGA? Absolutely nothing. All Bola Tinibu needed to do was to go to court and his wish was granted. This is the kind of president you have. You have a kind of president that is not concerned about what is happening in Abuja and how to satisfy the yearning and desire of Nigerians. You have a president that wants to control all the institutions in this country. You want the president that wants everybody to pay obeisance to him. That is the kind of president you have. He did it in Lagos State and it's not going to take him anything to do it in Nigeria. Until Nigerians rise up and resist him. The same way a do women are resisting his daughter from taking over their market. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.